Hello, I am your cyborg instructor, and I will be teaching you how to be a captain. I see you have been promoted. I did not believe it myself. In fact, nobody believes it. But here we are. As captain, you are expected to lead your crew to victory. Some lead with logic, others lead with love, and some lead with an iron fist. I recently had an iron fist installed on my left arm. It has really come in handy. Whatever your style of leadership, you must rely on the ample training and experience of your bridge crew. Over the course of their entire lives, they have dedicated at least five whole minutes to perfecting their role. Trust them, and they will trust you. The purpose of the captain is twofold to maintain focus on the mission and ensure communication and collaboration across members of the crew. On your journey through space, you may encounter enemies to fight, friends in need of assistance, or even galactic anomalies. But you must ensure every action brings you closer to completing your mission. Conserve your energy and protect your assets to increase the probability of success. Of course, it is possible to commit no errors and still lose. That is not weakness, that is life. Your second responsibility is to communicate with each station to ensure success. For example, it may be pertinent to use the warp or jump drive to maneuver quickly away from an enemy. Speak with the relay and science offices on the best path. Have the relay officer place waypoints and inform the helms officer to follow their guidance. Additionally, coordinate with the engineering officer to ensure he is informed and can plan accordingly for the additional power draw and heat that will ensue. To guarantee the enemy does not pursue, coordinate with the weapons officer to leave a mine before making an escape. This single example demonstrates that one decision like this involves every station in the bridge and they need to work together to be successful. Otherwise, you may be dealing with a mutiny, in which case, you may consider using the escape pod to flee to a nearby planet. Ask your crew for advice, they may see information individually that you cannot. For example, engineering may suggest you dock at a space station to quickly build back power. But then the relay officer can also purchase more munitions for the weapons officer. It is your responsibility to see the broader picture and how each action brings the ship closer to its goal. Avoid micromanagement. Your simple human brain is inadequate for multifaceted functionality. Instead, rely on your crew to provide status updates and then respond with general direction. In battle, many of the crew member are highly engaged. The weapons officer must speak with the helms officer to maneuver the ship to engage the enemy and the engineering officer will be putting out fires and managing the depleting energy levels. If the communication is good, then let them continue. Instead, focus on higher level tactics. What position would be most advantageous? Is this fight worth the damage and energy loss? Are there friendly space stations nearby to help recover? Are other enemies approaching? Can we win this fight and still accomplish our mission? Plan ahead, and these questions can more easily be answered. For example, use nebulas to travel in stealth, or lay a mine before the battle and lure the enemy toward it. Group enemies together and use nukes to destroy multiple targets with less resources. All these tactics require planning. A well-executed plan is more satisfying than quick thinking on the fly, and less likely to get you killed. Review the training for each station, and you will begin to see how they connect. Good luck, Captain. I believe you are going to need it.